Cool. Hi, everyone. Um, this is the JSIPFS weekly dev meeting of April 30th. Uh, as usual, we do a round of updates and then we use the leftover time for questions. Um, we people are still putting their putting their uh, updates for the week, but do people feel ready that we can start? I see some nodding, some some thumbs up. Um, if I may, would someone would like to volunteer to be the note taker? The note taker of this call is typically uh, like a very lightweight task compared to the IPFS audience because it's just like to take notes of any. Uh, extra question that is not captured already by the update that people share. I can take that. Sweet, thank you, Jacob. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so let's start with the round of updates. Um, Diego, you want to go first? I'm just going through the list. Yeah, sure. Hi, guys. Uh, not much to update. I've been working on. Uh, revamping the exchange files example. I've done that uh, last week and I'm doing that this week. I hope to make a pull request this week so you guys uh, to have some feedback about the UI and stuff. And I, I'm mainly focusing on UI, uh, but then I'll, I'll upgrade to having like um, a works, you can upload files to a workspace and other, other people go to that works, workspace and can see the files uploaded. Uh, so that's it. That's another feature. But right now, I'm just focusing on UI. Sounds good. Any anything blocking you? Uh, no, not really. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Diogo. Any questions for Diogo? Sweet. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Jacob, I can take notes for you if okay. while you're um, yeah. So mostly last week. Um, did some final updates for the custom repo example in JS IPFS. That's, that's all merged in now. Um, I also did a lot of refactoring on the libp2b switch last week, um, created a PR for that. I'm going through um, today and checking that against um, interop JS IPFS and then um, libp2p to make sure those test suites are working. It looks like there might be some issues with lib P2P. Um, so I'm just looking through that and hopefully we'll get that merged in early this week. And then from there, I'll use that to start working on the state machine updates for switch and um, as well as the private network stuff. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So yeah, uh, I, I believe I've reviewed both PRs so far uh, or merged the docs one and um, checked in on the, the switch one. Uh, you mentioned like there there might be some issues on on just like peer-to peer or the interop tests. Like, did you get the test and see some issues, or you are just being yeah? Uh, interop is good. There were some issues. Um, the tests look like they're failing on lib P2P. So I'm just trying to see what is like because some of the tests like multiple runs are a bit flaky. Um, but it looks like there's cons some consistent failures there. So I'm looking at that to figure out what what exactly is going on there. All right. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, awesome that you tested all the way up. Cool. Any questions for Jacob? All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Alex, it's your turn. Um, so I've been continuing to work on the uh, JS IPFS MFS implementation, uh, writing files. So writing new files is done as is um, updating existing files and at the moment I'm writing the code that will uh, expand files. Um, so this one's interesting because you can potentially reorder the DAG uh, when you change files. So the Go IPFS version just adds new nodes to the root node of every file, which is interesting. Um, Alan's IPLD Explorer CLI tools would be very helpful. Um, working out what's going on there. It'll be super, super good when we can point it at JS IPFS as well. I think there's some missing uh, DAG methods that it relies on. Uh, but yeah, that's that's gonna be me. Sweet, uh, I want to see a demo video of like how both like grow their DAGs, like seeing permutation. I think it would be pretty cool. That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. 
like the three visualization little things pinging on just like the thing growing like just yeah it was just flowing cool so uh sounds good that was remember that like uh, like the the big goal here or like the OPR for the quarter is really to get um mfs working in the same way that ypfs does it so that you can have npm on ipfs uh on js ipfs uh, and so like extra features like for example the rebalancing of the deck uh are important and should be um like explored, but like should not block like everything else from from shipping. Just, just like making sure that like you don't um, like get blocked on that or spend all your time there. Sure. Yeah, no, of course I'm I'm gonna make it work first, and then I'll make it work right after. Got it. Got it. Yeah, like um, cool. Cool. Do Do you have any um, like any estimate on like where when will we see the files API? Um, for the complete files API, the MFS API for just MFS? Uh, no, not the complete API, but um, I mean, I can start pushing experimental features behind a flag into JS IPFS itself. Cool, cool. Because we do have like a lot of things that use it, so we can like start using those tests to also test implementation, mm -hmm. like IPFS Blob Store, again, NPM on IPFS, etc. Yep, that would be cool. Cool. And, and you say you are blocked. You are blocked on the release of JSAP for API. Got it. Yeah, that's right. So there were some fixes in that allowed, um, like added the uh, offset and the length to be passed to the HTTP API, uh, which is sitting in, as it's been merged into MasterJS IPFS API, but it hasn't been released yet. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I, I like. I'm, I'm going to speak about that as well. Like I had troubles um, with JSAP for API and some of its dependencies. Um, cool. I don't have any more questions. Um, anyone has questions? Sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, now it's my update. I'm going to be quick. Um, like basically worked on the JS IPFS or JS code contributing guidelines and the protocol for rotating lead maintainers. Uh, I think all of you have seen that and commented or viewed it. So that's cool. Thank you so much. Um, I kind of like wanted to get the JSIPFS version 0 0.29 ready to release this week. But like as I traversed the dependency tree and like I saw the things that were like in flight, kind of like got like hit a bunch of roadblocks there. Um, and, and so it's probably not going to be ready to release this week just because there's like release on JSIPFS API, there is fixes for Node.js and there, there is a module that I need permissions to publish, a uh, bunch of things there. So you can check um, the JSIPFS 0.29 release issue. There's like a list of things there. And, and that's like essentially what I'm blocked and what I need to work or that I would love to have help of everyone, just make sure that we unblock that and we get a release done as soon as possible. Uh, I'll post here the, the link to that issue, but like you can clearly find it if you go to JSIPFS issues. Um, any questions for me? Sounds good. Okay. Cool. Um, Gar, 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 now it's, it's your turn. Hello, I'm uh, back on this now after. Oh, hold on. After uh, having was won something for the DAP stuff for uh, another project, I'm jumping back in. Uh, this morning I see that my wrap with directory thing finally got merged. Um, and I'm working on the bit swap unwant, uh, trying to untangle the mess that is where to put tests. Uh, so do you, do you need, like I see that they are blocked because testing is very confusing. Do you, do you need any, like, uh, do you need any extra help? Like, do you need a like a pair up with me or someone else in the call to? No, I think I'm getting the help I need in issues, but that just I, it felt more like a blocker than a next, just because it's it is um, the thing that needs to be. I don't want to say solved, but worked through. Uh, I think we're moving there, but I, I still don't. I mean, there was there's still an open discussion now about the remaining tests and things like that. So okay. 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 So do you feel that like without any extra information from us that you can 
move forward right now or would you like to make sure that you get your answers as soon as possible so that you can move forward yes i have uh there was a there is something i'm ready to move forward on right now and then uh there is a discussion going about what the remaining tests are um so i i, I can move forward now um but i just don't i just still felt like a a blocker because i don't uh um got it's, it uh got it so well, let's let's put it like this like if until like tuesday night or so, like tuesday evening if you if you don't get the answer that you need, well, let's make sure to like to sync up wednesday so that you you don't cool. spend like a lot of hours just uh mm -hmm. trying to navigate through uh, multiple repos like Thank i'm you. sure like in 15 minutes we can we can quickly help you so like victor is also like volunteering here so sweet okay victor you can also like put your calendar it might work well like that's what I did um, in some other notes. Cool, thank you. Thank, any questions for Gar? All right, uh, Zane. Cool, uh, not too much of an update. Uh, just updated the PR for pull streams. Um, I'll need a little bit of feedback from uh, Volker again. Um, and then other than that, uh, just started tackling the other packages that would be affected by the pulse strip change. Uh, that's it. Cool, thank you. Uh, Volker is out till Wednesday. Um, so okay. I think you can still, like you can still continue your work without getting it merged, right? Because you can always like NPM link. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's exactly what I'm doing. Sweet, awesome, cool. okay. So you're not blocked. That's nope. perfect. Uh, <laughs> cool, any questions for Tim? All right, no. Uh, Ugo, uh, you're muted. Hi, guys. Uh, so uh, I got a little bit stuck in, uh, in my CLI pull request. I thought uh, that was pretty much done in the beginning of the week, but uh, I got really stuck in the, in the tests. Um, needed to go through a lot of code to find out what was going on. Uh, right now it's everything, I, I think it's, uh, everything is figured out. Um, I created some pull requests to introduce some new handling on the errors. Uh, one of them is not up yet on the IPFS repo, but uh, I just need to uh, click a button. Um, and the, the way pull requests on the, uh, on the main uh, repo, uh, it's uh, done already too. So, but I'm still uh, having problems on the browser tests, uh, and I, as they don't have uh, support for source maps, I don't have a stack trace, so it's really hard to debug and find out what's going on. Um, so that's one area I'm probably going to need help, uh, probably from you, David, if you if you got time. Um, Besides that, I'm continuing working on the browser builds. I added the browser tests too on the next section um, to try to improve the stack traces for the browser tests so it's easier uh, for everyone uh, to debug um, the tests. Mm -hmm. uh, because right now I'm really having troubles to figuring out what's going on and I'll try to improve th those things on Azure. So that's what I'll be working next this week. Sweet. So uh, just to make sure I understood completely. So that there is like some fixes on IPFS DCTL, and like where, where is, which which model module are you having trouble debugging on a browser? Is it uh, on the main one on IPFS JS IPFS? Oh, JS IPFS. Okay, okay. So you see uh, an issue there. Okay, got it. Uh, cool. uh, I'll link. I'll link the. Uh, I'll mention on the pull request. Um, so you can review the, the, the tests on the, on the, in there, so it's easier for you. Victor, do, do we still have the debug flag on Azure, or is that something of the past? For seeing the debug output of stuff? Uh, remember when we said flag like one, and then like the karma would stop, and then it would let you actually like control the execution, so you could like set up breakpoints and, and debug it. Oh, I'm unsure about that. We'll have to look it up. Yeah, I know it was broken for 
fit. I'm not sure if it got fixed. I haven't. I, it I, I think Dimitri was working or not. Is that correct? Okay. Well, well let's check. So we'll go, essentially, like there was a way to set up a flag, and then like the karma execution would stop, and then you could like set up the breakpoints, or you could like then understand where the error was happening. Um, Victor, can you can you check for that? Or yeah, sweet. Thank you. All right, probably, yeah, and, 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 yeah, go ahead. I'll probably mention you, uh, you and Victor on the public case so you can uh, check the, the text, the tests failing. Yeah, okay. yeah, thank you. And also, like, if you need my time to like check in on any like implementation detail, uh, feel free to like pick my time from Calendly. Also, like we probably will meet this week in person. I'm already in Porto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk. See, awesome, cool. Uh, next up, uh, we have Fachi. Um, so I have been working on implementing the new Rendezvous protocol in JavaScript, um, and I've made some progress with that. Adapted it to the new changes that were made to the protocol and. I will, I'm also currently working on fixing the UTP transport. Um, and about that, I actually also have a question. Um, but I think you should add this, the questions um, below. Um, I have two PRs that need review. And the next thing I'm going to do is probably finish uh, the Renewus implementation. Awesome. Okay, so these two PRs, I'm adding it to. Okay, I'm adding it to my pile of things to review and merge. Um, interesting. Okay, okay, cool. Um, uh, I'll do this after the call. The PRs are not related to the things that you are focused on right now, right? Um, no, but uh, it would be great if they would uh, get some review because they have been around for some time and. Totally. Uh, I'm just like trying to prioritize as as I understand like if you are currently blocked on these or not. Um, cool. So yeah, I'll I'll check in on like the development of Rendezvous and the fix up of UTP uh, on the PR on the the code base itself. That sounds sounds pretty sweet. Thank you, Machi. Um, cool. So we have finished the um, the check-in part. Like, there's still a couple of people here, or actually three people: Victor, Lance, and Travis. You haven't given an update, but I guess like you don't have to. It's just like if you have something. Um, let's go to questions. Victor Piacom will activate code coverage via code cov rather than coveralls. Any objections? Uh, is this written in the right order, like code cough rather than coveralls? Yeah, so currently we're using coveralls, or we were supposed to use coveralls in the JS project. Yeah. However, you don't have a strong feeling for it, and the Go project really wants to use code cough, and it makes my life a lot simpler if we use the same coverage service across everything. So that will be the easiest. Can, can we... Uh, have first the comments disabled and second like one okay. of the one of the um, like pull requests check the status check being like the percentage of coverage and like telling us if it's dropped or increased. Yeah, the the difference of coverage, right? Yeah, the difference of coverage. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. code cough by default was just like issuing comments everywhere, and it was kind of like really noisy. Yeah, I don't think anyone likes that. So definitely we're gonna disable that. Cool. Okay. Also remember that we have the badges. So you have to update the CI and then the badges and the keys and disable one and enable the other one. Okay. Just, you are, That's you know. Fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool, let's go to the next one, Machi. Um, so I am still working on this project Lipid-P no trust and actually I think that should be deployed on the lipid -P infrastructure because uh, it uh, kind of makes sense to do that. Um, and if this will, my question is basically if this ever gets deployed because I created some issues about it on the infrastructure repo and also other places but still haven't got the reply. 
and uh, I don't see any significant interest and wanted to ask if there is still interest in getting this project deployed. Um, it's a good question. Uh, I don't have a concrete answer, uh, but I do have a, a comment, a concrete comment to the not seeing a lot of active interest at the moment. And that is just because everyone is kind of like underwater with all their tests. And uh, we just started a quarter. There's a lot of things going on. Like the, the dust is still settling. Like people are still like navigating through their own key results. And so um, we haven't also had the need for no trust recently. Like it, it does, it's not like a, a, an issue that we have to solve right now. And so it's definitely interesting in like a very, um, well, interesting way to go around the fact that private uh, IPs, IPs that are like nodes that are behind ads do not have access normally to like TLS certificates. That said, like we should not just say claim to the world that we have a way to issue certificates to everyone because that will look very uh, like awkward or a lot of people will raise a lot of questions and so we should be prepared to answer those questions and also first do the diligence of like really checking that that is the right way to do things or that's even like a a, a, um, a feasible way to do things and, and so uh, on this uh, I'm not saying yes or no I'm saying we just need more time and and if you want to like show again then demo next week on IPFS Island maybe expand a little bit more of what you have been pushing on no trusts and like what are the next steps from your perspective I think that will be super helpful for everyone else to like just catch up just like page in again on what no trust is trying to do and and also understand a little bit better um, what are the next steps mm, okay and the next thing I uh, also need um, an answer on is the current UTP protocol does not have a way to close one side of the connection without closing the other side. And I don't know if I should just um, fork the UTP protocol and create a UTP extended protocol that has that feature or if I shouldn't do that or... Um. So, so actually, before jumping into this new question, I just want to make sure I, I kind of like replied, answered the, the last one. Does anyone else has comments? Like that, that was like more of like perhaps my perspective than anything else. So if everyone or anyone has a comment on no trust and deploying it, maybe Victor, if because like you handle a lot of infrastructure things, like you have a comment there. I think you'd be valuable. Yeah, as, as far as I know, uh, I cannot just go ahead and deploy this as it's missing some review from the core contributors to lib P2P, and that's why I haven't deployed it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it makes sense. Cool, thank you. Okay, so I don't see more hands. Um, just, okay, now on the UTP question. Uh, again, it's a, a very good question, Machi. Like, the, the answer is, it is really fun to have UTP available for Leap Peer-to-Peer. Uh, like Leap Peer-to-Peer is designed to have connection upgrades. And so you don't necessarily need to fork UTP. You can just have a connection upgrade that gives it the ALF closed connection. And, and essentially just like wrapping every packet that gets written with a bit that it's a flag. Is this the fin, the fin packet or it's not? That, that's, that is exactly what, what it is. Um, and and there is an empty repo because in the past we wanted to pursue that venue, like we wanted to, to, to tackle that, but we never really got to finish it as again, as it was not like a, a, a priority. Um, if you want to explore that, for sure, that, that sounds fun. Like uh, it would be great to, to be able to say that people can use UTP today as well. Nevertheless, it's important to um, acknowledge that like if that happens, then a parallel version needs to be built for GlyPFS because it's not just like UTP, it's UTP plus this little upgrade. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, I don't see any more questions here, I believe. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so, 
Uh, thank you for taking notes, Jacob. Um, we still have a couple of minutes. Um, just uh, does like everyone feel like a quick check in? Like, does everyone feel like they're they are making progress on their key results? Um, does everyone does anyone feel blocked or kind of uncertain of uh, the direction of their key results? Peter. So I think we talked about this before, but I do feel a bit blocked on deploying JS IPFS as the daemon still sometimes crashes on like DIOs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And having those issues fixed or like in general the daemon stability stuff, then I can finally finish the deployment of JS IPFS and I'm sure we will find a lot of goodies and, and nice bugs if we manage to deploy a long running uh, team. Got it. Uh, cool. Are you using master or the latest release? Master. Good, good question. I do think it's master, I think. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it is very good for you to like keep just like reporting whatever bug you keep seeing when it crashes. Uh, there was one that we fixed already. Um, uh, and there's like more fix coming. Um, yeah, so my, my my issue is not about the specific issues being fixed. Like, I think we can continue with that forever. What I want is a daemon that won't crash just because there is an error in one stream. I think that's the issue we have to fix first. And then we can fix these things that we can see in the logs. But right now, we cannot even run the daemon for like more than 10 minutes before it crashes. So I, I don't want to spend, like, it's going to be a huge effort fixing all these individual issues that are going to continue to pop up forever. Instead, we, if we have a proper error handler in the daemon that doesn't crash just because it can open a connection to WebRTC store or whatever, we can actually collect more of these errors than we can collect right now. Got it. Okay, yeah, so what you're saying is to add some kind of uncaught exception things so that oh, um yeah we, we can do that like it still is going to enter some weird states i'm sure because some some of those errors will be uh unrecoverable um but yeah and so like google he has a key result on that like but it isn't perhaps Hugo, you can like check in with victor on this just to like gauge what is the most important thing for right now uh if it's the browser bills if it's the, the stability thing um Actually, actually, I might be confusing. Maybe it's not Hugo. Hugo is like handling a lot of the large files, and Diego is trying to yeah. is going to handle more of the stability. Yeah, um, I think it's me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No. Right. So maybe like a just, or even like we, we can check in like the four of us, just given that we will be handling a lot of like the hardnessing. Um, are are like just making just a bit more robust um, this this quarter? Uh, yeah, uh, I started working on the file exchange example OKR, but after I finish, I can put the priority on the demo. Sweet. That's okay with you. Yeah, 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 totally. Okay, yeah, it's totally okay to like just set, order your own priorities. Yeah, uh, I guess like Victor just wanted to know like where the priority was. Yeah. yeah, we. I I already opened up an issue for this, and I've assigned uh, I've assigned Diego this as well. So I assume that we can continue in that issue. It's linked in the in the bottom of the notes and in the chat there as well. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Okay, so we have two minutes over now. Uh, still want to make sure. Like, does everyone feel confident that they know what to do this week? Is it clear? Like everyone like knows how to move forward. Awesome. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll we'll continue chatting on IRC and on GitHub. Yeah, have a great week, everyone. Thank you so much for dialing in and sharing your bit. Your update. Bye. Cool. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye. See you. Later.